Hello and welcome guys, this is iPlay 4K and in this video we'll be benchmarking a Dirt Rally game and today I'm using three uh, EVGA Titan X uh, Super Clock Edition uh, so it's three uh, GeForce GTX Titan X Super Clock Edition and they're going to be connected uh, with SLI Bridge and we're going to use the SLI uh, driver so our SLI performance for three cards will be enabled and you can see my stats will be at the top right which is the GPU temperature GPU load GPU fan rotation which is 91 uh, percent it's almost 200 so kind of fans are kind of noisy not too much noisy 80 percent is okay sitting in the room 90 percent is kind of noisy but not too much if you have a computer a little bit far away from you, as I do today, and you're locating in a big room, it's not that bad. But keep in mind, it's on air, so it's 91% uh, fan rotation, and it's 1266 MHz, our GPU clock. Keep in mind, this super clock edition by EVGA, they come in stock, and I didn't overclock them. And uh, super clock edition will be 100 MHz faster than a stock Titan X. Uh, then memory one will be and all the memory will be at 35 megahertz as you can see 3506 and then 4383 megabytes is going to be the video RAM usage. I also included the CPU load which is 22 percent. I'm using today uh, six core or 12 threads which is 12 virtual cores in Windows and uh, the memory usage will be 13 for 60 megabytes which is 13 gigabytes it's a system memory then DirectX 11 of course this is the maximum API for this game the frames per second will be average which is 78.2 right now frames per second updated every second then uh, milliseconds will be communication between the hardware with the API software so between the video cards to the DirectX 11. All right, so let's go ahead. It, it's delay in milliseconds. Let's go ahead and see our graphics. Uh, our video mode will be today UHD uh, wide 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. I can go above that, but I don't want it. I just want to make it so perfect. Uh, because all the gamers are going to play at the white 4K, which will be 3840 by 2160. Most majority, this is why we're going to do this test. Then full screen will be on because when full screen is off in 2016 drivers, LSI, uh, SLI is not on. So we want to keep the full screen on for the SLI to be on. Otherwise, in window mode, SLI doesn't work in the drivers uh, from NVIDIA in 2016. Multi-sampling will be 8 times MSAA, and then we'll go ahead and uh, disable it completely, so multi-sampling will be off. Uh, aspect ratio auto, 60 Gz refresh rate. I'm using today 4K, uh, 65 inches curved Samsung 4K native uh, 60 gigahertz uh, monitor it's huge and it's beautiful uh, but unfortunately you're not going to see this but it's nice to record this so i can focus the camera pretty nice uh, then vsync will be off because if vsync will be on then it's going to be up to 50 frames per second and then it's going to be cap it because the 60 gigahertz is my monitor and we want to receive the maximum frames per second during this benchmark completely makes sense we gotta turn it off all right so let me go ahead and show you advanced options that I'm going to use today everything will be maximum quality so we're going to maximum quality bench it two times one time will be with MSAA times 8 and then another time will be completely off anti-aliasing so night uh, lighting ultra shadows ultra advanced fog on Particles Ultra, as you can see, it's maximum. Uh, weather High, which is maximum. Uh, crowd Ultra, Close High, which is the maximum. Ambient Occlusion Ultra, ad, uh, ambient, uh, Advanced Ambient Occlusion is on. 
mirrors will be high which is maximum so this is pretty much our settings uh, let me scroll down we got a little bit more options uh, ground cover is ultra uh, vehicle details ultra track ultra uh, trees ultra objects ultra vehicle reflections will be ultra water will be ultra skid marks on texture detail will be ultra uh, shader details will be high which is the maximum and is the traffic filtering a will be ultra uh, smoke shadows ultra i mean not a af uh, smoke shadows on uh, advanced blending on that's it so maximum visuals possible let's go ahead and select benchmark mode and we're going to go ahead and benchmark it usually i'm putting three times but i already know the average score so uh during my test when you're going to see more of my benchmark test when i'm going to compare hardware against the hardware in the future it's already coming and how it was in the past basically i'm benchmarking three times and i'm getting the average result and that average result i'm be, uh, putting for you in the table and you can see the charts let's go ahead and run one time today but i already know the average and if it's going to be matching i will posting this video of course if not i will rebench it and benchmark we're gonna click ok so keep in mind this is with eight times msa it's loading i'm using today 4930k uh, which is overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz with ht so it's 12 threads or six core and as you can see 29 percent 34 right now using this cpu so it's not a bottlenecking at all of course 5 uh, gigahertz will giving you better results but 4.2 4930k will be same as stock 5960x so i overclocked my 2014 cpu just to match 2016 cpu at stock so you can see we're running 52, 53, that's very nice results because when you're not running SLI, your FPS is much lower. So basically, if you want to have nice 4K playability, you want to have at least three Titan X. As you can see, there are 96, 95 load on the Titan X on each one right now, which pretty much means that it's perfect scalability of the SLI. this game is such a beautiful game i really like the details it's so photorealistic too and uh, I, it's a very nice game right now uh, march 28 2016 it's uh, the time that need for speed already out because it was released in 2015 i mean 2016 march 15 but uh this game is still very nice because this is kind of already old game it was released in 2015 i'm talking about the dirt rally that you're looking right now but on the graphics level it's so very well balanced and um, photorealistic uh graphics here photorealism good photorealism and photorealistic so it's pretty much not uh maybe even sometimes better than need for speed uh 2016 for pc or kind of equal to that definitely so that's why i decided to bench it and just because i'm a very big fan of the static benchmarks this is what we need to do static benchmarks are the best because i don't respect those lunacists and all those other people that writing those articles on the websites confusing the people pretty bad um you can see by the result uh, by the results uh in next year that whatever they were saying it doesn't match so pretty much they, they pretty much was both and they just marketing bs but over here when i'm going to uh 
use some games for my benchmark test package it will be always static benchmarks so it's going to be always pre-recorded demos as you can as you can see right now so the, the results will be trustful results so you can trust them and this again when I'm running I'm running three times and I'm getting the average every score and then I'm going to post it for you because I'm looking in the future to do a lot of benchmarks and a lot of hardware comparison and etc so keep watching 58 55 maximum FPS as you can see on the bottom then average will be 5194 and minimum FPS will be 4654 so pretty much you're a little bit above 50 frames per second on your average which is nice in this game during this test particularly let's go ahead and uh, click OK on that so 51 frames per second and we're going to go ahead and do the anti-aliasing keep in mind at this resolution you don't need the anti-aliasing even if you're playing on the big screens such as 65 inches it's almost impossible to catch it even if you're sitting very close to it like I'm sitting like one meter away from it um, or two meters away from it but if you're going to play it on 90 or 80 inch LCD then probably you need to run the anti-aliasing let's go ahead and enable the anti-aliasing and not on this menu it's going to be under the different menu this one we're going to not enable it we're going to disable it because we already run ran with the anti-aliasing now we're going to go ahead and disable that let's go ahead and verify that it's disabled as you can see multi sampling is off all right let's go ahead and run that let's go ahead and kind of quit it coming back verify nice the game doesn't require for you to restart the game we're going to see by our uh, fps Keep in mind, folks, I'm looking to overclock those Titans. I'm just curious, should I do it or not? I'm looking for a lot of likes and a lot of comments about it. If, if you will support me, I'm looking to overclock my Titans to 15 uh, megahertz, which will generate good 15 megahertz, 1600 megahertz in the games. So almost 50% uh, percent boost, but it's very dangerous. I'm going to increase some voltage and I'm going to put those Titans in water so they're going to become very quiet and uh, they're going to be extremely overclocked at home usage so basically means that it will be extremely overclocked but safe for the home environment and uh, without any overburning do you want me to go ahead and do that folks as well as record the the whole tutorial for you how to do it I'm just curious uh, let me know in the comments of this video if you want me to overclock my titans and I'm looking to get about 20 30 comments in this video and if I will receive 20 30 comments I will probably go ahead and do this I will overclock my titans to 1500 1550 megahertz and it's about it's going to be about 50 percent almost boost and it's going to be crazy I didn't see a lot of YouTube's video about it and I, nobody did the full benchmarks and when I'm going to overclock I'm looking to do the full benchmark about it folks let me know like every single game I'm going to benchmark with stock and then with my methods which will be 1550 megahertz overclock on each Titan plus put it on water and we will see how the numbers will be improved let me know in the comments below I'm just curious and uh, if you want me to go ahead and do it I will go ahead and do it but as again at least 20 comments should be uh, positive about it and uh, I want to see them all right as you can see we're almost done beautiful game look at that the sounds nice too it feels like a real old school Super STI too bad the Nifa Speed doesn't have this version they only have the hatchback uh, double rx sti uh, from 2010 uh, like i did a complaint about new for speed about the car list go ahead and watch it i said they should include this sti and they also should include the regular double rx so let's say people would like to get 
you know, the STI and race it against the double rack, some friends. It's going to be nice and, you know, fun and great for the competition, I think. But as again, it's going to be in my Nifa Speed video where I'm going to complaining about the car list and cons and the uh, negative sides about the Nifa Speed. You can go ahead and watch it also, support me on that one. So maybe EA will see this and they will fix their mistakes. But this game is right on. They they brought the spirit of the previous dirt games and they're making dirt better and better and better and uh, this game you will you'll be enjoying folks especially if you have the wheel and the steering wheel and it's going to be even more fun as you can see the the realism in the game and the whole virtual experience is very nice it's emulating for you the real rally It sounds as good, but just because microphone is not and the the sounds is not set at the high level, so you can hear me. So you're probably not going to hear the real experience of the sound, but the sound is great. All right, so here's what we got. We got the average frames per second, 60.52, minimum frames per second, 52.63. So average, we got 60.52, folks. Maximum FPS, 69.50. Makes sense. With the anti-aliasing off, as you can see, our frames per second almost higher by 10 frames per second on average because with eight times MSAA, our average was 51. Right now we got 60 frames per second, which is very nice score for the Titan X. It's not even double... Uh, it's just a little bit lower when you enabling the anti-aliasing. The Titan X scalability in SLI when you enabling the anti-aliasing is excellent. It, it's not cutting performance in half. It's just cutting performance about 10-15% almost on any game. And that's unbelievable nice. Um, so here we go, folks. You can see the results on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up, like this video. So I'm going to create more benchmark and I'm going to p benchmark the Titan as much as possible. Let me know in the comments below what, what else, where you want me to benchmark. But keep in mind, I'm a big believer of the static benchmarks like this. So you can get the constant results. And this is kind of benchmark I'm going to benchmarking if I'm going to compare the hardware and um, if I'm going to overclock my Titan, I'm probably going to, my Titan X, I'm probably going to go ahead and um, compare static benchmarks stock versus static benchmark overclock. Because I don't trust not static benchmarks. Let's say the Linuses and the other guys, they're testing during like battlefield and etc 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 and multiplayer let's say and a bunch of people on the server is running seven people then it's running 12 people or 15 people and frames per second are different and they putting those scores and then next year you can see that their results is not matching with the results of the you know comparison and or just next 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 article I am a big believer of the static benchmarks and those static benchmarks giving you the solid results. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is I play 4K. In the comments, please let me know your thoughts. Also, let me know if you want me to overclock my Titan X. If 20 people will say, go ahead and do that, I will go ahead and do that probably. And I will recall the whole tutorial is going to be the best um, video tutorial how to put your Titan X to 1550 step by step and explanation of everything the perfect 4k videos and multi angles all right subscribe so you're not going to miss any and i will see you till the next videos peace